I'm Charlie Nardozzi, and this is the Connecticut Garden Journal. The holidays are still upon us, and you might be thinking of a nice garden gift to give someone when you get together. Instead of the traditional cut flowers, though, consider a moth orchid. Moth orchids, or Phalaenopsis, are one of the easiest orchids to grow indoors. There are hundreds of varieties that grace garden centers, home centers, florists, and grocery stores. Once in flower, as long as you do some basic care, the flower stalks can be in bloom for months, far surpassing the life of a cut flower. You can help your flower gift recipient with a few tips on growing moth orchids. They like a bright room out of direct sun with temperatures around 70 degrees. They already are potted in an orchid mix, but if you repot them, make sure you use a bark-based mix. It's similar to how they grow in the wilds of Asia where they're native. They cling to the bark of the trees. Keep the mix slightly moist in winter. Overwatering leads to flowers prematurely dropping. Add water only when the exposed roots turn silvery white. Use a pot with good water drainage holes. Moth orchids don't do well in standing water. Fertilize with a weak solution of liquid fertilizer once a month in winter and once a week in spring and summer. After flowering, some gardeners give up on their moth orchids and compost them, but they're easy to keep blooming. Let the orchid rest until fall, then move it to a cool room that has a 15 degree difference in night and day temperatures. This will stimulate more flower stalks to grow. Next week on the Connecticut Garden Journal, I'll be talking about new veggie varieties. Until then, I'll be seeing you in the garden.